Hey everyone, welcome to the top 10 list. Here's my top 10 favorite classic science fiction films. Yes, if you saw all my videos from my top 10 favorite sci-fi movies of the decade, 2000s, 90s, 80s, this is my favorite classic sci-fi movies. Yes, I know you're expecting one of my favorite sci-fi movies of the 70s, 60s, and 50s. I'm not going to do that because, honestly, I don't know if I could have made a top 10 list of my favorite sci-fi movies of those decades just you know, just of each, because honestly, there wasn't a shit ton of great sci-fi movies back in the old days. There are amazing ones, don't get me wrong, but not enough to make a top ten list for each of those decades. So, I decided to combine them all together from 1920 to 1979. I just said, what the hell, here's my top ten favorite classic sci-fi films. So yeah, that sounds better, right? Right? Well, whatever, this is my top ten favorite classic sci-fi movies. And for top ten lists, you gotta have your... Honorable mentions. My honorable mentions for my favorite classic sci-fi movies are Invasion of the Body Snatchers, 1956, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the Body Snatchers, 1978, Forbidden Planet, Logan's Run, Dark Star, Bride of Frankenstein, and Fax 1138. All amazing movies. Just couldn't make the top ten list, but I'm digging in my top ten with my number ten. And my number ten is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Yes, Steven Spielberg's Close Encounters of the Third Kind. This is one of the movies that got me into, like, hardcore cinema, like, great science fiction films. This movie's amazing. Like, amazing. This movie is so good. I'm a big, hardcore Steven Spielberg fan. With the exception of the movie 1938 in The Terminal, I think every Steven Spielberg movie is just amazing. And this movie is one of my favorite Steven Spielberg movies. This movie's great. It's got amazing visual effects that still hold up to this day. This movie can this movie came out in the late 1970s, and this movie was brilliant. John Williams' brilliant score, and Richard and Richard Dreyfuss' top-notch performance, and Steven Spielberg's flawless direction. All those things make this movie, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a cinematic masterpiece. Close Encounters of the Third Kind is a classic sci-fi movie, and it's my 10th favorite classic sci-fi movie. Come number 9 is Frankenstein, 1831. Yes, it's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Boris Karloff did the original Frankenstein. He did all the original ones, including Bride of Frankenstein, which is a fantastic film. This movie, 1931, was a very short movie. It was only like an hour and ten minutes. But it was so freaking good. Boris Karloff is amazing. No one could ever play Frankenstein's monster like Boris Karloff. He was amazing in this movie. This movie was sensational. The editing, the pacing, the performances, the thrills, its atmosphere, it was amazing. Frankenstein, this is Frankenstein done right. I'm always looking forward to it. Maybe they'll remake Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Yes, we do have a movie version of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, the Kenneth Branagh one. And Kenneth Branagh is a great director, but yeah, that movie just had a lot of problems. I hope they remake Mary Shelley's Frankenstein and do it right and make it accurate with the source material. But until then, this is the best Frankenstein movie, and it's my ninth favorite classic sci-fi movie. Coming number eight is Planet of the Apes. Yes, Planet of the Apes, 1960s with Charlton Heston. Yes, you blew it all up, damn you, damn you all to hell. Get your hands off me, you damn dirty ape. This movie's great. I love it. Charlton Heston steals this entire movie in the makeup in this movie is breathtaking. The makeup is fantastic. Some of the best makeup designs and costume designs I've seen in movies, especially in science fiction movies. John Chambers did the makeup design for this movie. He won the Oscar. Totally well deserved. This movie's fantastic. It's got one of the greatest cinematic endings, one of the greatest twists in a movie. And it's just a great action-adventure movie about a human trying to survive in a world with damn dirty apes. And it's a great movie. Planet of the Apes, amazing. Come number seven is The Day the Earth Stood Still. Yes, uh, I hate, I fucking hate the Keanu Reeves version, the movie that came out in the early 2000s, That Day the Earth Stood Still, with Jaden Smith. I hate that movie. I really don't like it. It is an insult to the original film. The original film is a phenomenal movie, directed by one of the greatest, greatest classic directors of all time, Robert Wise. He did an amazing job with this movie. The performances and the simplicity in its atmosphere all make this movie just amazing and just an experience. This movie is a cinematic experience and it's so beautifully written and so compelling, so riveting and top notch from start to finish. This movie is fantastic. This is a great movie for classic sci-fi fans. If you're a fan of the classic sci-fi era, you'll love this movie. It is an amazing film. 
Crime number six is one of the greatest silent films of all time, Metropolis. This is also a foreign film, and a silent film, and a science fiction film, and it's one of the greatest science fiction films ever. It's a classic story about robots and humanity taken over by another civilization and stuff. It's fantastic. This movie is great. It's got breathtaking visuals, amazing atmosphere, great performances by silent film stars back in the day in the 1920s. This movie is brilliant. Wonderfully directed, wonderfully written, wonderfully executed. It is a bit long, and some people might not like how it's paced. I love how it's paced, and I love its length. I can watch this movie for hours on end and never get sick of it because I'm a big fan of the silent film era, and Metropolis is just a brilliant film, especially the look of the robots. I know it's old-school, classic designs, but they still hold up, and they're still wonderfully designed, and I love this movie. Metropolis is one of my favorite silent films of all time, and it's my sixth favorite classic sci-fi movie. Film number five is Time After Time. Yes, this is a classic adventure sci-fi movie about time travel. Yes, H.G. Wells, the classic writer, is about him, and basically he travels ahead in time to the future in, what, the 70s, I think, to chase down Jack the Ripper. And that is such an awesome and unique idea for a story. It's so well done. Malcolm McDowell is fantastic in this movie as the lead character, H.G. Wells. He's amazing in this movie. This movie has got a lot of great comedy in this movie, and there's a lot of good drama, a lot of good romance. There's some pretty good thrills, because it has Jack the Ripper as the fucking villain. But it's also a great movie about time travel, and that is a huge element of science fiction, and I love this movie. This is one of my favorite time traveling movies, and it's my fifth favorite classic sci-fi movie. Coming number four, speaking of H.G. Wells, The Time Machine. Yes, Rod Taylor in The Time Machine. I love this movie. This is such a riveting interesting, adventurous, entertaining watch. I love this movie. Rod Taylor steals this whole movie because this movie is mainly about him. Basically about a scientist who creates a time machine and he goes ahead of time and sees all these different eras with this time machine. The classic time machine, the red chair, pulling the switch. It's a classic, classic item. It's an iconic movie. This is, an, this is just an iconic, classic science fiction film and I love it. It's just a great adventurous, entertaining watch and it gets you a little scared that the future might be like that in the year 99,000 something. Yes, those Morlocks. Damn, those Morlocks. Man, they're creepy. Those designs are still very creepy to this day, and I love this movie. It's just an entertaining watch, and I just can't get sick of this movie. I've watched this movie ever since I've been a kid, and still to this day, and right now, I can't get sick of the time machine. So yeah, of course, I had to make my number four for my favorite classic sci-fi movie. Coming number three is Star Wars. Yes, 1977 Star Wars, written and directed by George Lucas, starring Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, James Earl Jones, David Prowse, Anthony Daniels, Kenny Baker, and Al Guinness, who should have won the Oscar for playing Obi-Wan in 1977. He should have won the Oscar. I don't like it. This movie did win a few Oscars, you know, won sound and visual effects and stuff, but this movie probably should have won Best Picture. I love Annie Hall. I love that Woody Allen movie. It's a great movie, but Star Wars should have won that year for the Oscars. It's Star Wars. I love Star Wars, clearly, and this movie's fantastic. The effects to this day hold up. John Williams' score is just brilliant, amazing. It's a classic It's a classic story about the hero trying to rescue a princess, but they do a different take on it. Yes, this story isn't fully original, it's idea, but it's still brilliantly handled because it's got such likable characters, amazing action sequences, brilliant effects, an amazing writing, amazing direction. It's just it's an all-around fun, likable story, and I love Star Wars. Star Wars is single-handedly one of the greatest trilogies of all time. In Star Wars, 1977 started it all, and it's a brilliant film. I love this movie. It's great. Some people say some of its action scenes are dated. I, I love it. I love the lightsaber duel between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan. I love the classic space battles. That is straight up practicality right there. Practical effects is the way to go, and I love this movie. It's Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars geek, so of course I have Star Wars on this list, and it's my third favorite classic sci-fi movie. Cover number two is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. This is my favorite, favorite Stanley Kubrick movie of all time. That's saying a lot because I love Kubrick's movies. I love Eyes Wide Shut, A Clockwork Orange, Full Metal Jacket, uh, Doctor Strange Loves, The Shining, also Spartacus. Like, he's got so many amazing films. And this is my favorite, though, because, yes, it doesn't have a cohesive story. It doesn't have a standard three-act structure. But it's so amazing how it symbolizes humanity and growth and about humanism and stuff and about philosophies of ideas of mechanics and machinery. It's brilliant, this movie. This movie is amazing. Stanley Kubrick's direction is fantastic. This movie is brilliant. Its atmosphere, its effects, even its performances by its, by its small actors, they're all very well done in this movie. And HAL 9000 is the scariest robot in a movie. He is terrifying. Like, hello, I am HAL. 
How can I be of service to you? Like, he is scary, and you know, he's just a red little dot with a line. It's terrifying, and this movie is fantastic. It's got a great thought-provoking story, a great thought-provoking ending, and I love this movie. It's a classic movie with a brilliant score, amazing direction, and some of the smartest ideas in a science fiction film ever. And my number one favorite classic sci-fi movie of all time is... Alien! Yes, 1979's Alien, directed by Ridley Scott. This movie is brilliant. This is not only an amazing science fiction film, but it's also a great claustrophobic thriller slash horror movie. This is a monster movie about a crew in a spaceship getting hunted by a xenomorph. Yes, they brought an alien specimen in. It started off as a facehugger, and it came a xenomorph. I feel so bad for you, John Hurt. Come on. That scene at the dinner table... Still to this day, that creeps me out. That is one of the most scariest scenes in movies. That scene is fucking terrifying. Perf amazing performance by John Hurt. He's amazing in this movie. I love Sigourney Weaver in this movie. It's Ellen Ripley. She is the most logical and most interesting character in this movie. I also love Ian Holm as Ash. I love uh, Tom Skerritt as Dallas. Everyone's great in this movie. You get attached to these crew members, and when each of them get knocked off, you do feel bad. Because you're like, oh, I like that character. I love Parker in this movie, too. Parker is a very logical character. Come on. Why don't you freeze them? Why didn't they freeze them? Like, that is so logical, but damn you, Ash, you clever damn robot, you. I love this movie. It's got amazing animatronics. The, the, the look of the xenomorph is so good. Still to this day, it holds up. It's not at all dated. It is still scary as shit. This movie is terrifying. It has great atmosphere, and it has this claustrophobic feel. If anyone knows me, my favorite kind of thrillers are claustrophobic thrillers, and this is the most claustrophobic thriller in cinema, and it's one of my favorite science fiction films of all time. It's just amazing. Ridley Scott direct, directed this movie phenomenally well. The performances are great. The atmosphere is great. The writing is great. And you just get attached to this movie very easily, and it's got so very watchable. Like I can watch this movie. I go watch this movie like every week. It's so watchable. It's so quotable. It's just interesting, and it's got a great smart theme, smart ideas. And it's just amazingly directed, and it's also really scary. These people are getting hunted by xenomorph. That's terrifying. And yeah, of course, Alien is my number one favorite classic sci-fi movie. So yeah, that was my top 10 personal favorite classic sci-fi movies from 1920 to 1979. Yeah, don't forget that. So yeah, in the comments section below, please tell me, did you agree with this list? If not, give me your top 10 favorite classic sci-fi movies. Comment below and let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and join the dark side.